Black spending power reached a record $1.6 trillion in 2021. The ability to buy, save, and invest more than doubling since 2000. In recent years, the spending power of black people has been on a significant rise. When discussing wealthy individuals within the black community, it's impossible to overlook the extravagant symbols of success. Expensive cars, major businesses, private jets, and yachts. So I'm here with a list of the most expensive things owned by blacks in America. Luxury vehicles. When it comes to showcasing their success and indulging in the finer things in life, blacks in America have proven time and time again that they have a taste for luxury. One area where their opulence truly shines is in their car collections. From sleek sports cars to elegant sedans, these individuals have spared no expense in acquiring some of the most expensive and coveted vehicles on the market. One prominent figure in the world of luxury cars is none other than music mogul Jay-Z. With a net worth of over $1 billion, Jay-Z has built an impressive car collection that perfectly complements his lavish lifestyle. One of the standout cars in his collection is the 2005 Ferrari F430 Spider. This stunning vehicle, estimated to cost around $170,000, $45 has become synonymous with Jay-Z's love for speed and style. In fact, the Ferrari Spider even had a starring role in Jay-Z's music video for his hit song Show Me What You Got back in 2006. But Jay-Z's collection doesn't stop there. He also owns the 2006 Pagani Zonda F, a true gem in the world of supercars. With only 25 of these cars ever made, the Pagani Zonda F is an incredibly rare find. Its sleek and unique design, combined with its powerful performance, makes it one of the most valuable cars in Jay-Z's collection. The F in its name pays homage to Argentine racing car driver Juan Manuel Fangio, a legend in the motorsport world. Another extravagant gift in Jay-Z's car collection is the 2010 Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport, which was given to him by his wife, Beyonce, for his 41st birthday. This million-dollar supercar is a true masterpiece of engineering and design. With its removable transparent polycarbonate roof and black canvas tarp, the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport offers a one-of-a-kind driving experience. It's no wonder that Jay-Z cherishes this gift from his talented and equally successful wife. Speaking of extravagant gifts, Beyoncé herself is no stranger to luxury cars. In addition to the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport, she and Jay-Z own the Maybach Accelero, one of the most expensive cars in the world. This Maybach model was produced only once globally, making it an incredibly rare find. With its 19-foot length, 23-inch wheels, and a price tag of approximately $8 million, the Maybach Accelero is the epitome of luxury and exclusivity. Its sheer presence on the road is enough to turn heads and leave onlookers in awe. Jay-Z and Beyoncé are widely regarded as iconic figures representing wealth and success within the black community. Their combined influence spans across music, business and culture, showcasing a remarkable journey from humble beginnings to global prominence. Jay-Z's entrepreneurial ventures, including his record label Rock Nation and investments in tech companies, have solidified his status as a savvy businessman. Beyoncé's multifaceted career as a singer, actress and fashion icon Icon has also contributed to their collective image of affluence. Together, they symbolize not just financial prosperity, but also resilience, creativity, and empowerment, inspiring generations to pursue their dreams and break barriers in various industries. But it's not just Jay-Z and Beyonce who own these extravagant cars. Other black individuals in America have also made their mark in the world of luxury automobiles. Take, for example, basketball legend LeBron James. With a net worth of over $500 million, LeBron has built an impressive car collection that includes a Rolls-Royce Phantom, a Lamborghini Aventador, and a Ferrari 458 Spider. These high-performance vehicles perfectly reflect LeBron's success and his love for speed. Jewelry and watches. Me and my boy Johnny Dane, I just bought crazy Ooh. chain. Crazy chain. The, the price, up, up, up. <laughs> but when it comes to my man Johnny Dane, I got to do it. How much I pay for it, Johnny? A lot of money. Just have about a million dollars. Floyd Mayweather, also known as TBE, the best ever, has not only conquered the boxing ring, but has also amassed an unimaginable fortune that allows him to indulge in the most lavish and expensive items. And the billionaire watch is a true testament to his opulent lifestyle. Valued at a mind-boggling $18 million, the billionaire watch is a masterpiece of craftsmanship and luxury. It's hard to fathom the price tag on a timepiece, but for Mayweather, who can earn over $100 million in a single night, it's just another extravagant expense. This custom-made watch was designed by the renowned New York-based jeweler Tadashi, who spared no expense in creating this horological marvel. What sets the billionaire watch apart is its breathtaking design and the sheer number of diamonds adorning its surface. Every inch of this timepiece is incredible.
encrusted with pure diamonds, creating a dazzling display of wealth and extravagance. The watch exudes an aura of elegance and sophistication, befitting Mayweather's status as one of the all-time richest athletes in the world. But the billionaire watch is not just a status symbol, it's a reflection of Mayweather's incredible success and his ability to live life on his own terms. With his unparalleled boxing skills and business acumen, Mayweather has generated massive pay-per-view events and produced the richest fight in the history of the sport. His financial prowess knows no bounds, and the billionaire watch is a tangible representation of his immense wealth. As we marvel at the sheer opulence of the billionaire watch, it's important to note that Mayweather's collection of luxury possessions extends far beyond this timepiece. From his massive garage filled with exotic cars to his luxurious mansions, Mayweather's flamboyant lifestyle is a direct reflection of the success he has enjoyed throughout his career. But it's his jewelry collection that truly stands out. Mayweather has an eye for exquisite pieces, especially those adorned with diamonds. In addition to the billionaire watch, he owns a plethora of diamond-studded watches, bracelets, chains, and much more. Each piece in his collection is a testament to his impeccable taste and his desire to surround himself with the finest things in life. Mayweather's love for jewellery extends beyond watches and rings. He has a particular fondness for necklaces, and one of the most remarkable pieces in his collection is his pure diamond necklace. This stunning piece is a true masterpiece, crafted with precision and adorned with the most exquisite diamonds. The pure diamond necklace is a sight to behold. Its cushion-cut cluster tennis chain made of white gold exudes elegance and sophistication. The exact cost of this necklace is undisclosed, but given Mayweather's penchant for luxury, we can assume it is worth millions. It is a testament to his immense wealth and his desire to surround himself with the finest and most valuable possessions. While the exact number of pendants in Mayweather's collection is hard to determine, it is clear that each one has been carefully selected to complement his extravagant lifestyle. These pendants serve as a reflection of his personality and his individuality, allowing him to express himself through his jewellery. As we marvel at the beauty and grandeur of Mayweather's necklaces and pendants, it's important to recognize the significance of his collection within the context of black individuals in America. Mayweather's success and his ability to acquire such extraordinary pieces of jewellery serve as a testament to the achievements and prosperity that can be attained by black individuals in a society that has historically marginalized them. High-end jewellery and watches owned by individuals like Floyd Floyd Mayweather Jr. with his extensive collection of luxury watches and jewelry pieces. Real estate. All right, so here I am walking right by your 42 acre compound. Here is the main entrance with security. One prominent figure who has amassed an impressive property portfolio is Oprah Winfrey. Known as one of the most powerful women in the world, Oprah's success extends beyond her media empire. With a net worth of over £3 billion, she has invested in a collection of stunning homes that reflect her status and impeccable taste. Oprah Winfrey is a name synonymous with success, influence and philanthropy. Rising from challenging circumstances, she emerged as one of the most powerful media personalities in history. Oprah's groundbreaking talk show, The Oprah Winfrey Show, became a cultural phenomenon, tackling a wide range of topics and touching millions of lives with her insightful interviews and thought-provoking discussions. Beyond her media empire, Oprah is a champion of education, women's empowerment and social justice. Her philanthropic endeavors, including the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa, demonstrate her commitment to making a positive impact on society. Oprah's journey from adversity to triumph and her unwavering dedication to uplifting others have earned her immense respect and admiration worldwide. Let's start with Oprah's properties in Chicago, where her career first took off. In the mid-1980s, she purchased an apartment in the prestigious Water Tower Place building in the heart of the city. Over the years, she acquired three additional units in the building, combining them to create a massive four-bedroom duplex spanning over 9,625 square feet. This luxurious space served as her Chicago residence for many years before she sold it in 2015. For $4.6 million, 3.2 million pounds. While in Chicago, Oprah also owned a three-bedroom apartment in the luxurious Four Seasons Hotel. This served as her crash pad, conveniently located near her talk show studios on Chicago's near west side. She eventually sold this apartment for $1.3 million, 809,456 pounds, in 2015, when she relocated to California. In addition to her Chicago properties, Oprah has made significant real estate investments in other parts of the country. One of her most notable acquisitions is her Hawaiian estate in upcountry Maui. 
This sizable property spans 163 acres and features an elegant island-style house with luxurious amenities such as a spa, wraparound porch, and a chef's kitchen complete with a wood-burning pizza oven. Oprah's love for Hawaii is evident in this stunning retreat. Another remarkable property in Oprah's portfolio is her Montecito estate, known as the Promised Land. This sprawling estate covers 42 acres and boasts a 23,000-square-foot Georgian-style mansion, a 6,000-square-foot guesthouse, and an array of lavish amenities. The Promised Land is considered Oprah's primary residence, where she conducts high-profile interviews and enjoys the serenity of the terraced gardens and outdoor pool area. Valued at over $100 million, 78.5 million pounds, this estate is truly a testament to Oprah's success and refined taste. But Oprah's property investments don't stop there. In Telluride, Colorado, she purchased a 60-acre property in the exclusive Mountain Village. This expansive land became the foundation for a magnificent cabin, featuring a state-of-the-art movie theater, a 1,600-bottle wine mine cellar, and a chef's kitchen with a wood-burning pizza oven. Oprah's love for skiing led her to acquire a second property in Telluride, ensuring she has access to the nearby skiing trails. These properties exemplify her desire for both luxury and adventure. Private Jets Tyler Perry has taken his love for drama and comfort to new heights with his private aircraft, which cost a staggering $125 million. This isn't just any jet, it's a flying theater, a term that barely scratches the surface of the opulence within. Tyler Perry's journey from humble beginnings to becoming a billionaire mogul is a testament to hard work, determination, and entrepreneurial genius. Born into poverty and facing numerous challenges early in life, Perry turned to writing and theater as outlets for his creativity and expression. His signature character, Medea, became a cultural icon resonating with audiences and catapulting Perry to fame. However, Perry's success extends far beyond his beloved Medea persona. He is a prolific filmmaker, playwright, actor, and producer, with a diverse portfolio of successful films, television shows, and stage productions under his belt. Perry's ability to connect with audiences, particularly in the African-American community, has been a driving force behind his wealth accumulation. What sets Perry apart is not just his entertainment empire, but also his astute business acumen. He owns and operates Tyler Perry Studios, one of the largest film production studios in the United States, located in Atlanta, Georgia. This studio complex has been instrumental in producing a wide range of content, from blockbuster films to hit television series. The cabin, a vast space of 38 cubic meters, has been transformed into an entertainment haven. Imagine being whisked away while lounging in front of a 42-inch LED screen, with iPod docking stations at your fingertips, satellite TV and theater lighting that sets the mood just right. The electronically controlled window shades dim the outside world as you indulge in the latest blockbuster with the state-of-the-art Blu-ray players. But the luxury doesn't end there. The Jets' interiors are a marvel, with VIP bedrooms and an ensuite bathroom that would rival any five-star hotel. The Gulfstream 3 is propelled by twin Rolls Royce Spey turbofan engines, ensuring that Perry's travels are not only in style, but also swift, with a maximum cruise speed of 903 km per hour and a commendable range of 7,402.98 kilometers. This flying fortress is more than just a means of travel. It's a bold statement of success and a sanctuary above the clouds. Perry's choice to own such a magnificent piece of machinery showcases his penchant for the finer things in life and his commitment to bringing luxury and entertainment together. As we marvel at the extravagant vehicles owned by black individuals in America, Tyler Perry's Gulfstream 3 stands out as a pinnacle of private aviation, a symbol of the heights one can reach with success. The expensive things owned by blacks in America are not limited to physical assets. Let's take sports franchise as an example. Sports franchises. And another big surprise, at least to me reading this, is that Magic Johnson is sort of, was leading this group of people that was, uh, ended up winning the auction. Magic Johnson, a name synonymous with basketball greatness, has transcended the courts and made a monumental leap into the world of sports franchise ownership. In a move that sent shockwaves through the sports and business communities, Johnson became a co-owner of the legendary baseball team, the Los Angeles Dodgers. Owning a sports franchise is a pinnacle of wealth and affluence, requiring a substantial financial investment that places individuals or groups among the elite ranks of the super rich. The cost of acquiring a sports franchise can vary widely depending on the league, the team's market value, and its historical performance. In major professional sports leagues like the NFL, NBA, MLB, and NHL, 
The entry fee for a new franchise or the purchase price of an existing one can range from hundreds of millions to billions of dollars. The cost of owning a sports franchise extends beyond the initial purchase price. Owners must be prepared to invest significant amounts in player salaries, coaching staff, facilities, marketing and other operational expenses. They also need to navigate complex league regulations, revenue sharing agreements and competitive dynamics within the sports industry. Additionally, owning a sports franchise comes with prestige, influence and opportunities for business partnerships and sponsorships. It offers a platform for owners to engage with fans, shape the team's identity and impact the local community through charitable initiatives and community outreach programs. This acquisition by Johnson was not just a business transaction, it was a historic moment. Magic Johnson, with his investment group, purchased the Dodgers for a staggering $2 billion, marking one of the highest prices ever paid for a professional sports team. Johnson's involvement in the Dodgers ownership group is a powerful statement about the potential for black individuals to not only excel in sports but also to become influential figures in the business side of the industry. The Los Angeles Dodgers, often referred to simply as the Dodgers, are a storied franchise with a rich history in Major League Baseball (MLB). Based in Los Angeles, California, the Dodgers are one of the most iconic and successful teams in baseball history. They were originally established in 1883 in Brooklyn, New York, before relocating to Los Angeles in 1958. The team has a passionate fan base and a legacy of excellence on the field with numerous World Series championships to their name. One of the defining eras for the Dodgers came during the 1950s and 1960s, known as the golden age of the franchise. Led by legendary players like Jackie Robinson, Sandy Koufax and Duke Snyder, the Dodgers achieved multiple World Series victories and cemented their place as a powerhouse in baseball. Their move to Los Angeles further solidified their status as a major force in the sport. The Los Angeles Dodgers Dodgers, with their rich history and dedicated fan base, have found in Johnson a leader who brings a winning mentality and a deep understanding of what it takes to achieve greatness. His presence in the boardroom is as impactful as his time on the basketball court, proving that the skills and determination that made him a sports icon can also drive success in the high-stakes world of sports franchise ownership. Magic Johnson's journey from a sports legend to a business mogul is a source of inspiration, showing that with vision and perseverance, the boundaries of achievement are limitless. His ownership of the Dodgers is a beacon of hope and a clear indication that the playing field is ever expanding with opportunities for black individuals to leave their mark, not only in sports, but in all facets of life. Art Collections. Oprah's newly commissioned portrait now on display at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. The museum revealing it today. As we delve into the world of expensive possessions owned by black people in America, we cannot overlook the remarkable art collection of the iconic Oprah Winfrey. Known for her immense success as a media icon and businesswoman, Oprah's taste in art is equally extraordinary. Oprah's collection boasts a wide range of English, French and continental furniture, decorative arts, paintings, prints, drawings, porcelain, crystal, silver, memorabilia, clothing and accessories. With over 500 lots, her collection is a testament to her impeccable eye for beauty and craftsmanship. One of the most highly anticipated items in Oprah's collection is an oil painting titled The Little Mother by Hofsett Pushman. This captivating piece depicts a young black girl wearing a flowered headscarf and cradling a white baby doll. The painting carries a pre-sale estimate of $35,000, $45,000, showcasing the immense value placed on this exquisite work of art. Another standout piece in Oprah's collection is The Red Scarf by Richard Edwards. Miller. This luminous painting portrays a naked woman standing at her window, exuding an aura of elegance and sensuality. With an estimated value of $80,000, $120,000, it is expected to be the evening's biggest sale. The sheer beauty and artistic mastery of this piece make it a true gem in Oprah's collection. But Oprah's art collection is not just about aesthetics and luxury. It also serves a greater purpose. The proceeds from the sale of her collection will go towards the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy Foundation for Girls. This the foundation supports young women in South Africa throughout their education, enabling them to pursue higher education in their native country and prestigious American institutions such as Stanford University, Atlanta's Spelman College, Massachusetts's Smith College, and Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island, among others. I'm sure you're wondering why rich people engage in art collection. The fascination with art collection among the wealthy spans centuries and is deeply intertwined with cultural, social, and personal motivations. For many affluent individuals, art represents 
represents more than just aesthetic appeal. It embodies status, sophistication, and a connection to history and culture. One of the primary reasons why rich people collect art is as an investment. High-quality artworks from renowned artists have historically shown significant appreciation in value over time, making them attractive assets for wealth preservation and growth. Art collectors, especially those with a keen eye for emerging talent or undervalued pieces, can build impressive collections that not only enhance their wealth, but also serve as a legacy to pass down to future generations. Beyond financial considerations, art collecting is also driven by a passion for culture and creativity. Many wealthy individuals view art as a form of expression that transcends language and communicates profound emotions and ideas. By surrounding themselves with art, collectors immerse themselves in a world of beauty, inspiration and intellectual stimulation. Art can serve as a source of introspection, prompting deep philosophical and aesthetic contemplation. Moreover, art collection allows affluent individuals to participate in and contribute to the cultural landscape. Patronage of artists and support for art institutions and galleries are common practices among art collectors, fostering a vibrant artistic community and preserving cultural heritage. Additionally, collecting art provides rich people with a sense of exclusivity and social connection. Owning rare or iconic artworks can be a status symbol within elite circles, signaling taste, sophistication and cultural capital. Oprah's dedication to philanthropy and her commitment to empowering young women is truly inspiring. Her art collection not only represents her impeccable taste, but also serves as a means to uplift and support others. Leslie Hindman, the founder of Leslie Hindman Auctioneers, expressed admiration for Oprah's altruistic endeavors, stating, Oprah's acumen as a media icon and businesswoman has been an inspiration for millions. Perhaps even more inspiring is her dedication to altruistic endeavors, built on the foundation of sharing her success to better the lives of others. Next up, let's look at someone who earned her billions from a business. Businesses. I want women of all shades to feel included and all races and all cultures to be a part of this. And that's really what was important for me within choosing the shades and how many we were going to make, especially with the foundation. When it comes to success and wealth, few names shine as brightly as Rihanna. This Barbados-born superstar has not only conquered the music industry, but has also built a billion-dollar empire through her ventures, Fenty Beauty and Savage X Fenty. Let's take a closer look at how Rihanna's entrepreneurial spirit and dedication to inclusivity have propelled her to the pinnacle of success. She aimed to create a cosmetics brand that celebrated diversity and made women of all skin tones feel included, and she did just that. Fenty Beauty, a joint venture with French luxury luxury goods conglomerate LVMH quickly became a global sensation. What set Fenty Beauty apart from other beauty brands was its commitment to inclusivity. Rihanna understood that women of color were often overlooked in the beauty industry, with limited options for foundation shades that matched their skin tones. Fenty Beauty changed the game by offering a diverse range of products, including foundation in an impressive 50 shades. This groundbreaking move resonated with millions of women worldwide who finally felt seen and represented. The success of Fenty Beauty was nothing short of extreme. Extraordinary. By 2018, just one year after its launch, the brand was already raking in over $550 million in annual revenues, surpassing other celebrity-founded beauty brands like Kylie Jenner's Kylie Cosmetics and Kim Kardashian West's KW Beauty. Fenty Beauty's impact went beyond just financial success. It sparked a much-needed conversation about inclusivity in the beauty industry and inspired other brands to follow suit. But Rihanna's empire didn't stop at cosmetics. In 2018, she expanded her business ventures with the launch of Savage X Fenty, a lingerie line that celebrates body positivity and inclusivity. With Savage X Fenty, Rihanna aimed to create a brand that made women of all shapes and sizes feel confident and beautiful. And once again, she struck gold. Savage X Fenty quickly gained a loyal following thanks to its diverse range of sizes and inclusive marketing campaigns. The brand embraced models of different body types, ethnicities and backgrounds, showcasing the beauty of real women. Rihanna's vision resonated with consumers who were tired of the limited representation in the fashion industry. In February 2021, Savage X Fenty raised $115 million in funding, valuing the company at a staggering $1 billion. Rihanna's 30% ownership stake in the brand further solidified her status as a billionaire. The success of Fenty Beauty and Savage X Fenty is a testament to Rihanna's business acumen and her ability to connect with consumers on a deep level. She understood the power of representation and inclusivity, and she leveraged her platform to create brands that celebrate diversity. Rihanna's ventures have not only revolutionized the beauty and fashion industries, but have also paved the way for a more inclusive future. Tech Investments 
Serena Williams Venture Fund has already invested in more than 30 startups. As I wrap up this exploration of the extravagant possessions owned by black individuals in America, I'll delve into the high-tech world of investments made by none other than tennis icon Serena Williams. Beyond her prowess on the court, Serena has aced the game of high-stakes investing, channeling her earnings into a portfolio that would make any Silicon Valley investor turn green with envy. Serena's strategic investments are not just impressive, they're downright jaw-dropping. She's not merely playing the market, she's rewriting the playbook on how athletes can parlay their success into financial empires. With a keen eye for spotting unicorns, startups that rapidly achieve a valuation of over $1 billion, Serena has backed multiple billion-dollar companies, showcasing her business acumen. Her investment firm, Serena Ventures, has an expansive portfolio that includes some of the most innovative and disruptive tech companies of our time. She's not just throwing money at random ventures, she's investing in the future, in ideas that promise to revolutionize how we live. From cryptocurrency to health tech, Serena is at the forefront of the investment game, proving that her skills extend far beyond the baseline. Owning a tech startup requires a substantial amount of wealth, but the exact threshold can vary widely depending on factors such as the industry, the startup's business model, and its growth stage. In general, launching and scaling a successful tech startup entails significant financial resources to cover various expenses, including product development, hiring talented employees, marketing, legal compliance, and operational costs. For early-stage tech startups, founders typically need access to seed capital ranging from tens of thousands to a few million dollars. This funding is crucial for developing a minimum viable product, MVP, conducting market research, building a team, and acquiring initial customers. As the startup progresses through its growth phases, additional funding rounds such as Series A, B, and C may be necessary to fuel expansion, enter new markets, and increase market share. In highly competitive sectors like artificial intelligence, biotech, and fintech, the cost of entry and scale can be exceptionally high. For instance, developing cutting-edge AI algorithms or biotechnologies requires substantial investment in research and development, hiring top-tier talent and securing intellectual property rights. Similarly, fintech startups aiming to disrupt traditional financial services must navigate complex regulatory environments and invest in robust cybersecurity measures, which can entail significant costs. Moreover, the valuation of tech startups can skyrocket as they achieve milestones such as user growth, revenue generation, and market dominance. This often leads to higher funding rounds from venture capital firms, angel investors, and corporate backers. Successful exits through acquisitions or initial public offerings, IPOs, can also result in substantial wealth for startup founders, early employees, and investors. While Serena's tech investments are a testament to her visionary approach, we cannot overlook the opulent art collection of another black icon, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah's assemblage of fine art is nothing short of a cultural treasure trove, featuring works by legendary artists that would make any collector's heart skip a beat. Her collection is a rich tapestry of history and beauty, each piece a silent witness to the extraordinary journey of one of the most influential women in the world. To enjoy similar videos, click on any of the videos showing on your screen.